all right guys welcome back to another video i know it's been a while since i made one of these but um this guy like if you ever feel bad if you ever feel down in life you feel like you got no bitches you're maidenless you're a virgin you're miserable just look at this guy and you will feel better or you will feel sorry for him if you have like empathy you know but anyhow like, here is what he has to say for himself uh i'm not gonna judge him before well he gets a chance to yeah so this is the official skippy jessop account there are people making fake ones out there okay from virgin diaries oh my fucking god bro that's that's not the image you want to betray he is still a virgin although that is not the purpose of the videos on his this channel okay so like this channel is to maintain his virginity it's to protect his virginity from all these hoes i don't know what is what oh my god anyhow um yeah like here are some of the videos he makes he's been making videos for quite a while his most popular one skippy in love 16 years ago and this one is wild bro i'm gonna turn up the volume so you guys can get a good taste of what this guy is like and you know i'm not gonna make fun of his appearance okay i have no right to make fun of anyone's appearance like look at me i look like you know if an asian person went like outside of asia and acted like a white person and then went back to asia and then pretended to be black it, it's i am like you know the the, the i am a walking contradiction okay but but this guy like if he looks after himself like his appearance like like ugly people can find love okay that that's the thing like ugly people can find love but but he doesn't take care of himself you know he's overweight he doesn't like you gotta you gotta like you know start acting like decent i mean let's, okay let's see his actions now the ads are are gay they're cringe and they they should be skipped like this like like there's no reason to watch ads even if it takes longer than just like honestly waiting for the ad to pass it just fuck ads i hate ads so much i will just do this like i am unmonetizable as a customer become ungovernable become unprofitable death to capitalism and anyhow the video so production is not bad for 2006. Is there is this girl named Rachel. All right, so I he's he's driving over to pick up Rachel ago. from and church. I'm going to ask her yeah, that's how you meet girls from church. This is a stress ball that I squeeze. This is this is something I squeeze to like train my grip strength, even though it doesn't honestly need to be trained since I have an unnatural like amount of grip strength i've been training it every night since i was five anyhow um here here we go let's just skip to the the juicy parts are you are you right. sure it's okay like yeah okay okay, okay. first things first bro has negative riz okay he's he's wearing a manga hat before like trump even became a thing all okay? right this guy is like the human embodiment of broccoli okay he is boiled broccoli okay that this this man has no redeeming qualities i i will i will just say well he probably has some all right all right this all right Corey, some other guy from church uh so so what skippy said Corey asked you out last night yes yes Cool. Yeah, yeah. Do you like him like that? I think I do. Do you like him like that? And she says, I think I do. Now, that right there, you gotta have some respect for yourself, man. You gotta turn that car around. You gotta you gotta thank her. And you gotta drop her off. You gotta drive home. And you gotta like look for someone else. Cause cause that's it. That's over. You done. You done, man. Like it, it, there, there's no coming back from that. Like, this girl just told you, yeah, I am sexually, romantically attracted to someone else, and, no, bro, anyhow, you skip through some cringe. So you kiss boys before? You like kissing boys? 
Oh my fucking god. Do you like kissing boys? That's... Like, this is a porn interview. Like, this is porn levels of conversational skills. Like, this is just terrible. I can't even feel bad for this guy. He brought it to himself, man. He... Like, you had a choice. You know, you, you could have in the past 24 years of your life. Now 40 years. This is 16 years ago. In the past 40 years of your life, you could have, you had chances, man. You had chances, but you blow them. You fucking blow them. I do. I'm sorry, that was a random comment on my part. Rachel. Hey, Scott. I brought you up here for a reason. I hear Oh, this is Sarah Killer Talk. I have flowers for you. Oh, hell no. Man, what the fuck, bro. Oh, she is terrified. I've got something for you. I'd be fucking terrified, bro. I'm not sure if you can see this, but these are little toy boats. Toy boats. Let's call this a friendship, okay? And this is a friendship too, right? No, we got two and friendships. We've been, you know, like sailing these little friendships, you know, for a while and stuff like that. Like a year, right? What did you say? Okay, so we're sailing the friendship. But there's another boat that's in the harbor. You ready for this? Huh? Oh, let's huh? let's see. This let's boat see what is called a relationship. You see that? Here's the. You are a grown ass man. You are 24 years old, and she is probably also 24 years old. That's that's just an assumption I'm making. But these are grown. This is a grown ass man. And he, he brought out three toy boats. Like, shh. Fucking God. Okay, let's just keep Thing though. I think there's a way to go from a friendship to a relationship. And in order to get to the relationship, oh, we have to share things. You ready for this? Oh, hell no, man. To bridge the gap between this oh, and this, hold yours up. Yo. We share things. Do you see this? Do you see this? All right, those are concert tickets. Okay, so this guy just tries to buy her off with concert tickets. It doesn't fucking work, obviously, as... You, oh, my God. Anyhow, um... So, yeah, that's that's what this guy is like. And uh, he has not changed. He has not grown. So this was 16 years ago, 10 years ago. This is just as cringe. Seven years ago, dating advice. Like, this is the captain of the Titanic given sailing lessons okay this is and and here here we go a kiss for a klondike bar which is some form of american ice cream the bro pulls up in a domino's shirt so, uh i just got done with work and i uh swung by uh to pick up some groceries and i was like i'm not going to look at these again ever the same way uh. especially when she lives three blocks away from where it is that I buy groceries and so she lives three blocks away from where it is that I buy groceries that is the kind of comment that you want to open with when it comes to talking to girls all right do you see her face her face is like oh hell no man what the fuck hey oh hell no man so um to fulfill the having her try it out uh these are klondike bars in this uh, specific oh hell no okay let's just skip to the part where look at his face look pay Our attention to this. Vanilla light looking at the camera like mm -hmm, yeah and yeah, waiting, what waiting for when a guard is down Our milk and cream There's come no on real bro seal on you it. gotta you no gotta real. pounce apex predator oh. Oh hell no! That was the first kiss I've ever. That was the first kiss we've ever shared, oh and even then it felt forced. Even then it felt forced. I can't wait to watch this back and see if your eyes are terrified as I. Like there must be some amount of self awareness from this guy. Like this this guy can't be this clueless, right? Like holy shit! And I sincerely asked for a kiss. You didn't fucking ask. You just like you just went in, like. I admire the confidence. I don't admire much of anything else. Now, um, here's the worst part. This guy has merch, okay? Bro has merch. This is his Skippy Squad VIP shop. Like, who's paying $32 for a 
for a skippy drip. Like, hell nah, bro. Like, what the fuck? Hey. Anyhow, um, so yeah, if you ever feel down on your luck, if you ever feel sad, lonely, look to this guy and don't do what he does. This is a negative example, okay? And also, the comment section is fucking savage. Oh my fucking god, it would have been perfect to have Chad onto the door and his boxers covered in sweat. Hey, Deanna, did you order Domino's? Oh hell no, that's a, that's a violation. That's too much, bro. That's fucking too much. And, um, yeah, like, um, this guy, don't, don't do what he does. Don't do what D does. Anyhow, um, goodbye. Video's over.